Supreme Court cases, whether it's compelled or voluntary, seems to lead to this idea that if it walks like a tax, if it acts like a tax, if it quacks like a tax, it's a tax. By simply accepting out in a hodgepodge discord of who gets in and who doesn't should not lead a court to conclude that it was certainly the view of dissenters that you can't evade constitutional requirements of 36 votes by simply going to those who are public utilities and giving them a break, but those who can choose not to supply customers get hammered. So what that means is this, if you're a private sector, if you're supplying a product, if you can choose to simply go out of business, you can do what has been advocated in the other chamber, and that is get the heck out of Oregon. Or if you're a utility and you don't have a choice, you need to supply people, and thus the definition of comes in to impact the voluntary versus compulsory, uh, we'll accept you out because we know that meets the definition. So in summary, this bill is crafted to evade the definition under the Constitution. There was one part where it couldn't, however. Our opinion, or the opinion of Dexter Johnson, our legislative counsel and staff attorney, is that this does, in fact, impact fuel distribution. And that it would be a tax when it comes to, or in essence, evade, or impact in the Constitution when it comes to expenditures that are required to go to the highway fund. So, colleagues, I know it's a dry aspect to stand here and talk about this tax issue and whether it, we have to have 31 votes to pass this today or 36. I just wanted to make a record and get the carrier's statements on record and also point out that the key crux of the definition of whether this is a tax or not requiring 36 votes seems to be about the voluntariness or compulsion of those who are being charged money and whose money goes into a program which is clearly for the public benefit indistinguishable if we all, uh, as the carrier said, are in jeopardy and our money is how we evade that danger then we all benefit together. And if that being the case, then those who are compelled to pay into it sure looks like a tax. But this bill specifically focuses, if you will, ramp breaks to utilities, at least when it comes to some of the privately owned um, invest or invest or privately uh, investor owned utilities, excuse me. And so in that regard, um, I want to then turn to just a summary, if you will, of the fact that this bill uh, will not address the bigger concerns. Um, and Madam Speaker, it seems to me, as caretaker of the chamber, uh, you should impose a 36 vote mandate. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. For the